Hello guys. <laughs> this is Feather. This is one of my parents' dogs. I am currently going back and forth between my house and their house watching the dogs and their animals. I'll actually be taking care of my dad's cows and the chickens while they are, uh, my dad is having a medical procedure done and so I'm just going to be taking care of their animals for them. Um, today they are out all day long so I am coming back and forth to be with their dogs and make sure that their dogs are fine and it works out really well being so close to family because I literally just get on my four-wheeler and come over here like they're literally just across the woods so I am just hanging out here with the Aussies it's not just Feather it's Briar also he's a little bit more introverted and we are just hanging out today doing whatever and I have been brainstorming because I just have not been sure what to film but then I started thinking about the things that I actually have to get done and one of those things that I have to get done is I actually need to treat my baby goats for coccidiosis. So I've noticed that my baby goats have been having some diarrhea um, some of them aren't wanting to eat as much. They are all acting just fine. Um, they're all doing just fine. They are all still wanting to eat. It's just that I've noticed the little signs and I think having rabbits has really helped me notice little signs before I get like a full-blown case of coccidiosis with all of them. We're going to be using a Tultrazero. This is what it looks like. Um, and I ordered this from Horse Pre-Race. And Tultrazuril is quite effective when it comes to treating coccidiosis, at least it is for rabbits. Um, I haven't actually had a case of coccidiosis among my rabbits in quite a while, which is really nice. Um, the main thing when it comes to coccidiosis is keeping things very, very sanitary. After I treat them today, I'm also going to be completely taking all of the bedding out of the stalls um, and getting rid of all of that bedding and then putting fresh wood shavings down because you can treat them for it, but if your environment is contaminated with it, they're just gonna get it again. So I'm going to do a bunch of cleaning. I'm gonna get rid of all of the old bedding. I'm gonna replace it all with new. I'm gonna treat them. I'm gonna wash down all of their bowls and all of that. So. Hopefully this will really help us get rid of it and nip it in the bud before it gets bad uh, Because once we get over the baby's weaning age, then we kind of are in the clear Coccidiosis is one of the things that I know how to handle when it comes my way So I've handled it enough with rabbits in the past um, So it's one of the things that I am usually pretty good about catching so I am definitely going to get on that today. But my Tultrazero was actually just delivered today. I usually have a bottle of it on hand for the rabbits. I'm actually not sure where my last bottle went. So it kind of sent me off into a bit of a panic this last weekend when I could not find it. Uh, but like I said, everybody's fine. But I did get this from Horse Pre-Race. And it's actually a really good price for this. This was not bad. This was, I think, 40 something. So that's not actually that bad. Um, so I'm happy about that. Happy that I found a better deal on it. And now I have it on hand for not only the goats, but also the rabbits. The sun disappeared. <laughs> Got my four-wheeler and my wagon pulled in to the goat area. Doing that without having them escape is a feat in itself. So my goal is to get all this hay out of here. It's all like old hay that has pee and poop in it, I'm sure. It's not really terribly dirty in here. So I'm wondering how the kids are having these issues. So this is the main stall that the kids stay in. I think I'm gonna focus mostly on this one for this first wagon load of old bedding. Two hours later. Oh, I'm out of breath, you guys. Got all of the nasty hay out. Look at all of that. And that is only one wagon full. There was another one before that one. So as you can see, I haven't put down fresh bedding yet. I wanted you to look at this. Underneath all of the hay, it is very wet. And unfortunately, 
because we don't have this part of the barn concreted yet. Uh, you can kind of see how far up the concrete is right there and how far down the dirt is right here. And unfortunately, until we get this area concreted as well, we do deal with flooding issues from here over. So we just had a gigantic rainstorm last week. So I'm actually wondering if the bedding just got wet and they just got infected that way or something. Luckily, they are only gonna be in here for another month or so before we start going out in pasture and that hopefully will take care of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down fresh bedding and then I'm gonna give them fresh water and then I am going to treat all of them with the Toltrazurl. Also, this is your reminder that if you do not, if you can't do animal poop, then animals might not be for you because <laughs> I am covered in it right now. Poop has never bothered me. I'm gonna take a really good shower tonight. It's really funny actually, because I actually did laundry today at my mom's house. Uh, these are the clothes that I, these are some of the clothes that I washed. So they lasted a whole four hours clean. So life of homesteading. You guys are not gonna wanna be in here when this explodes. You guys might think I'm weird for this, but fresh bedding is one of the simplest things to put down, but it is one of the single most satisfying things <laughs> that I do for the goats. I love doing that. And if you're wondering what this is, it is pine shavings. They're just extremely, extremely fine. So my father-in-law does a lot of wood planing and he's started giving us huge bags of wood shavings and it's untreated. It's safe for animals. Um, but it's just one of the ways that I cut costs on my homestead. Look how much better it looks in here, you guys. Look at that. Now we gotta get you some fresh water. I actually get them fresh water every single day. So the water I don't think was the problem. Like I, I literally, like if they have water left at night, I literally dump it and give them fresh in the morning just because I think it's important for animals to have fresh water. So I'm gonna do this uh, two different ways. For a couple of my babies, I know they're not going to take a full bottle, so I'm just going to force them to have it with this little syringe here. Um, but I've got a couple of them that I know will take a whole bottle, so I'm going to mix the Toltrazurl in with the milk so they won't even know that they're having it, hopefully. So the dosage for goats is just about the same that, as it is for rabbits. So um, on my little notes here, I have 0.18 milliliter or CC per pound of body weight. And Rumi weighs 10 pounds, so we're gonna do 10 times 0.18. So Rumi gets 1.8 uh, mLs or CCs they're the same thing, essentially. I'm just gonna go ahead and give her two because I actually think for goats, a lot of people recommend one whole ml per five pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her two. It's not going to hurt her. Sorry for the sun. I keep trying to run from it, but it keeps finding me. <laughs> so whenever you use Toltrazurl, you just wanna shake it up really good because um, it can settle. Shake it up really good. I've never opened this one before. It's kind of a thicker substance, so I'm just going to dip my little thing in here and get two, two whole mLs. So I've got two mL of Toltrazurl. So I'm gonna twist this back on because I do not want to spill this. Toltrazurl is very, handy to have in your barn, it's also expensive, so I don't wanna lose that. So I'm gonna put this uh, Toltrazurl in the milk, and I'm gonna give the milk a good 
shake up before getting Rumi out and feeding her. And she won't even know that she's been medicated. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her out. She takes the bottle so, so fast. She is screamy all the time. She wants food all the time. So she will be very happy that she finally gets her milk a little bit early today. Okay, this is Miss Rumi. She wants a bottle like ASAP. Nice way to break look at you. <laughs> All right, get back. Back, back, back. She doesn't even know she's taking her medicine right now. She looks really good though. I think that she's really pretty, but I actually don't think that I'm gonna be keeping Rumi just because, I don't know, something about me and her just don't click. It also has to do with the fact that I like her sister more than her. Um, her sister, I'll do her next. She's one of, she's the one that didn't take the bottle very well for me um, in the first video that I made with them. Her name is Finley. She is being more dam raised than bottle fed, I think. Um, she's definitely drinking more off of Beady than most of the other babies. But yeah, I really like her more, I think. She's just got such a sweet little personality. You good? Yeah, it is gone. It's gone. So she, <laughs> she is sweet though. Look at her. Look at her little face. Yes. I'm gonna put her back and then I need to weigh Finley and see how much she weighs and then I will just put her straight in her mouth. This is Finley. Look at her. She's so sweet and she's so soft spoken and I just love her. So she is gonna be staying here. She's also pulled, which I really like. I think I wanna breed more pulled Nigerian dwarfs. Um, but she's, she's the cutest. And I just weighed her and she weighs seven pounds. So I am gonna take my thing here. We're gonna do seven times 0.18 and we get 1.26. Um, but I think I'm gonna do 1.5 just to stay on track with getting everybody good to go. I have been putting them on the stand with Beatty at night just so they get more milk. Mostly her and the little tiny guy. Okay, you're not gonna like this. Yeah, that wasn't that bad, was it? Yeah, that was not that bad. You just gotta be quick about it. Okay, now I'm gonna get the very, very tiny baby, the little tiny buckling. He has been our runt basically since the very beginning. Um, he, his name is Ocho, he has not grown that much. So we're gonna get him out. I, he's the one that I really, really wanted to treat. So I'm gonna weigh him and see what's up with him. This is Ocho, my little tiny, oh! <laughs> my little tiny Appaloosa guy. He's going to be a very, very tiny little guy. And I just weighed him and he's only o a little over five pounds. So I'm gonna give him just a little over one ml. Do not push on that. No, don't do that. He's trouble, you guys. He's not staying here. Please don't. <laughs> I'm afraid he's gonna break my camera. <laughs> so he's gonna wanna take a bottle after this too. There we go. Yeah, that's not that nice. But now you get a bottle. <laughs> so now he's happy. <laughs> Everybody's doing pretty good. I mean, other than, you know, the, the diarrhea that I was talking about and some of the coccidiosis symptoms but we're getting that all taken care of today. He's so cute. Yes, he's so cute. He drives me crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get the next one out. This is Jiro. And he just is extremely bloated. I don't know if, and he's acting fine, but he does have a little bit of a diarrhea butt too. He's acting fine, but that does have me a little bit concerned. I think him more than anybody right now. So. I'm gonna go ahead and give him his dosage. He weighs eight pounds right now. I'm just gonna give it right in his mouth too. Right in your mouth, bud. Here we go. Here we go, yeah. Make sure you eat it. Don't spit it out. Yeah, that's good, thank you. He's doing fine, I just worry, you know. Whenever you spend this much time with an animal or animals, 
you're bound to worry about their health. It is definitely me. All the time, spending all the time in the world out in the barn with the goats and the rabbits and the chickens and all of these animals. And when I notice that anybody is sick, it makes me worry. So just wanna make sure that everybody's okay. Jiro is very sweet. He's very sweet. He's also pulled. I was considering keeping him, you guys, but in reality, I cannot keep any bucks right now. Like, I just can't. I need, I need to find a buck that is like stellar, like really, really stellar and also unrelated to all of my does. And then breed him to all of my girls eventually. But you are not it. No, you're not it. He's so cute though. This is Miss Feline. She's not as tame as my bottle babies because she is being totally damn raised by Jupiter. Um, so she's a little bit more wild, but I am trying to hold her as often as possible just to get her used to me. Jupiter's kids, they haven't shown any signs or symptoms of any of anything. So, but I'm just gonna do it just because I'm doing everybody else right now. Why not do them as, why not do Jupiter's as well? She's not gonna like it. No, she's not gonna like it. Cause she's not used to me putting anything in there. There we go. Good job. Good job. Yeah, that's you not bad. You wanna go back with mom now. We'll go back with mom. <laughs> and finally, last but not least, we have Mr. Arlo here, our little blue-eyed buckling. <laughs> He's super cute. And it's so funny because he's totally damn raised, but he just randomly comes up to me and will take a bottle. We did not even train him to be bottle fed. He just will take the bottle. So I don't know, he's, I guess he's hungry all the time, but yeah, it's really funny. Come here. There we go, good job. Good job, good job. All right, you want a bottle? Look at that. I never trained him to the bottle, he just naturally took to it. And Mr. Arlo here, it's gonna make somebody a nice buck. Not me though. We gotta be up in everybody's business, don't we? Yep. All right, Arlo's going back. <laughs> well guys, different kind of video today and I look like a mess, but you know what? It's okay because most of the time, let's be real, I'm a homesteader. I look like a hobo most of the time. <laughs> and I think that the same goes for anybody that takes care of livestock as like a big thing in their life. Like we just look like hobos half the time. And it is okay because my old clothes are meant for mucking stalls and cleaning poop and cleaning pee and all of the things. So um, I don't wanna wear my nice clothes out into the barn because I know something will happen to them, always. That's what always happens. Last week's video was a lot of work and I really enjoyed making it for you guys and I am glad that it, it's already helped like a bunch of people. I am always happy to bring you guys rabbit information. I know this one was more about the goats and that is fine. Um, just it's what I'm currently dealing with right now. Sometimes my videos are literally just like what I've got to do this week. And this was one of those things that I just needed to tackle this week. So um, I hope that you enjoyed it regardless. <laughs> so guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something new. I know I'm learning new things all the time about these goats uh, and documenting my journey with them. Not necessarily telling you guys how to raise goats because I'm still new at it. I've only had them for just a little over a year now. So there, there's been like so many different things that I still am learning. But coccidiosis treatment is one of those things that I've done before with the rabbits. So they've definitely helped me become prepared for something like that. So I'm hoping that everybody's gonna be fine and I guess we'll see. But like I said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.